Hi, and welcome to Tasty Tuesday, brought to you by Transition Nutrition and Fitness Coaching. I'm Angie, and I'm here every Tuesday to bring you a new and delicious whole food plant-based recipe that you can incorporate into your family's weekly menu. It is all things fall now because it's November and we're heading into those holidays where we need to have things we can take to family gatherings that we know we can eat and we can treat others to as well. So today we're going to be making a mushroom wild rice stuffed acorn squash that is so delicious and it's just as beautiful as it is tasty. It makes a great take along to a family gathering or if you're hosting to have as a side or a main course. So let's get started. So to save a little bit of time today, I've gone ahead and done some of the prep work ahead of time. To start off, you're gonna take two acorn squash, cut them in half, clean out the seeds. Then you're going to get a great big pot like this, boiling water, put the squash halves in, and cook them just until they're fork tender. You don't want them overly soft because you're gonna bake them again after we stuff them, but you want them soft enough that you can scoop out about half of the inside of the squash, leaving the shell intact. So this is the pot I use, it's nice and big. I flip them over a couple times and you're going to boil them for between 12 and 15 minutes, depending on the size of your squash and the hardness. You can either use acorn squash for this or you can use kabucha squash. I've done both. The kabucha only takes about nine or 10 minutes. It's a much softer squash and you can actually eat the skin, um, but you do have to be a little more careful because this one is so fast when it cooks that it gets done very quickly. But it is a very good sweet tasting squash. All right, so while we get ready to do the next step, I'm going to be using two different Instapots today. I'm gonna to be using a three quart to go ahead and cook the wild rice, and I'm gonna be using the six quart to go ahead and make the stuffing. So let's get to that part. So if you don't have two Instant Pots, you can always make the stuffing first and then empty it out into a bowl and then make your rice in your Instapot or make the rice ahead of time and then just warm it back up. I've got a three quart, which makes the rice perfectly. I'm gonna put in one cup of unsalted vegetable stock and a half a cup of London Berg's wild rice mix. I love this brand because it's got all the different blends of rice in it which make a beautiful presentation um, and they're not all just pokey wild rice. So we're going to set this for 23 minutes and now we're going to start working on the base for the stuffing for the squash. Also, when you finish cooking your squash, make sure you set it on a cookie rack or a some kind of a baking rack over your sink to make sure you drain all of the liquid out of it and let it dry out a little bit before we scoop it out. Now we're gonna work on our stuffing. Actually, you can saute this in the Instapot or you can saute it on the stovetop. I just always find it easier to saute right in my Instapot. I love how easy this aluminum inner lining is to clean. It heats up really quick and it's a smaller surface for me to work with. So I'm gonna be sauteing my veggies in my Instant Pot. Now we're gonna start off with about three, maybe two to three tablespoons of vegetable stock, just enough to keep it from sticking. And I have about three fourths of a sweet white onion that I actually mandolined so that the strips are very, very thin. We're going to heat these up until they're almost caramelized because that's gonna add a little bit of sweetness to our stuffing mixture that we're gonna put into our squash. So once this gets heated up, you're gonna add your onions and saute them until they're almost caramelized. We'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, they have started to golden up, which means they are glazing and caramelizing. And now I'm gonna add eight ounces of chopped baby portobello mushrooms. Now, if you have to add a little bit more vegetable broth or stock, that's okay. But really, once these mushrooms start releasing their liquid, you shouldn't have to add any more stock. And you don't want your um, stuffing to get overly wet or it'll be too gooey to put into your squash. It just gets too wet. You want it to be a nice, firm, fluffy stuffing. So we're gonna continue sauteing this down until the mushrooms lose their liquid. And then we're gonna add our carrots, our celery, and our red bell pepper, a half a cup of each. As you can see, the mushrooms are, have lost their liquid 
and that made plenty, plenty of juice in the bottom of this to keep sauteing. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of shredded carrots, a half a cup of chopped celery, a half a cup of red bell pepper. You could use orange or yellow. The color really doesn't matter. You just want a sweet bell pepper. And we're gonna continue sauteing this for just a bit. And then we're gonna add our spices. Now we're going to add our spices. I have one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of ginger powder, and one and a half teaspoons of rosemary that I have ground up. Because if you don't, you get like these little sticks in it and my husband just hates that. So I always take my little spice grinder and grind my rosemary up, teaspoon and a half of rosemary in for our stuffing seasoning. We're gonna to continue to saute this down until our veggies get soft. Now that our veggies are all softened, we're gonna turn off our Instapot, or if you've sauteed it on the stove, you can remove it from the stove. And we are going to prepare the next step in our filling, which is scooping out part of the squash from the shells. You're gonna take a spoon and gently scoop out about half of the squash. You want to leave a good eighth to a quarter of an inch inside so that the skin doesn't fall apart. We're going to take that inside and we're going to mix it with our veggies and then we're going to add our wild rice to that to complete our stuffing. So I'll be right back. I scooped out, as you can see, about half of what was in the squash. You want to leave enough of the shell to, so that it's sturdy enough to go in the oven. I added that squash to my veggie saute mixture and I'm adding a fourth of a cup of 50% sugar reduced craisins. That gives it just a little bit of a sweetness to your sauce. Now, as soon as our wild rice is done cooking, we'll add that to our stuffing and we'll be ready to stuff our squash. So make sure you have your oven heated to 350 degrees. And now we're gonna take our cooked rice, our wild rice and add it to our squash mixture our stuffing mixture. Veggies and squash, craisins, all of those good things. We're going to give it a good stir and now we're going to stuff our acorn squash. This is really so, so pretty and all you're going to do is mound it up. I have it on a silicone baking sheet but you can put it right on the cookie sheet. And the reason acorn squash works really, really well is because they still stand up. Whereas the kombucha is a little bit harder to get to stand up. It's got a rounder bottom. You kind of have to slice a little tiny bit off of the back of it to make it stand up nice. We're gonna take that squash, veggie mixture, and just plop it right in our squash halves. And we're gonna bake these for about 12 minutes and then top them with a little bit of date syrup and bake them in for an additional five to seven minutes or just until the almond slivers that we're gonna put on top start to roast. So you can see what a beautiful presentation these are gonna make and they would be a beautiful addition to your Thanksgiving table. We're gonna take some slivered almonds and just put right on the top And then we're going to pop them in the oven for, like I said, about 12 minutes. Then we'll take our date syrup and just kind of swirl over the top, cook them for an additional five to six minutes until the almond slivers are roasted and they'll be ready to plate. So as you can see, I took them out at about 12 minutes, drizzled just a little bit of date syrup over the top, popped them in for about another five minutes until the almond tidbits just start to roast. Now that they're done, we're going to get them plated and we'll be right back. So here we have our mushroom wild rice stuffed acorn squash ready to serve for any kind of holiday gathering or festivity. Thanksgiving, Christmas, it makes a beautiful addition to any meal that you serve. I hope your family enjoys these as much as mine does. And remember, if you'd like to see more of these videos, you can see more here and here. And please don't forget to subscribe and give us that thumbs up because it really helps. 
We're almost to our 500 member mark and I can't wait to do the giveaway. So please share these videos with your friends. And remember, plants are the best medicine.